I don't think we should leave town unless we have a health insurance plan, unless we can give our people great health care. Because we're close. We're very close. This was the one we were worried about. You weren't there. But you're going to be. You're going to be. Look, he wants to remain a senator, doesn't he? Okay. And I think the people of your state, which I know very well, I think they're going to appreciate what you hopefully will do. Any senator who votes against starting debate is really telling America that you're fine with Obamacare. But being fine with Obamacare isn't an option for another reason, because it's gone. I think we all agree it's better to both repeal and replace. But we could have a vote on either. And if we end up voting on repeal only, it will be fully amendable on the Senate floor. And if it were to pass without any amendment at all, there's a two-year delay before it kicks in. So the takeaway from what I'm telling you is no harm is done by getting on the bill. Wide open for amendment, no matter what I offer as a substitute first. I'm for staying here until we get it done. So, um, but I, I think, you know, there's an urgency to move uh, and bring closure to this and, and the meeting while, you know, after all that's happened over the last few days, you might have thought, well, can this be helpful? I, I can tell you it was extremely helpful. It really was. And what I heard is his preference would be to make sure that we don't leave until we get a result. I'm completely supportive of that. These marks are collapsing. Uh, he made a strong case for uh, repeal and replace.